Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stuff HD the podcast. As usual, this is Javier, aka Stuff, and with me we have this is El Equis, aka Equis, E Q U I S. How are you, man? How, um, how how's it been since Thanksgiving and everything? I know we did our post Thanksgiving yeah. podcast already, but everything's been been you know good you you start your 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 christmas shopping yet uh, or or are you more of a december 24th type of guy um I, like at this point nobody gets nothing like <laughs> i don't nobody gets no nobody gets anything <laughs> we're i'm old like that's like i'll give him like my nephew some stuff like, i was gonna say like, i'm sure your yeah nephews yeah yeah my like, nephews but like my brother I, I i i just take him out to eat you know like yeah. Let's go to shuttle. Up, 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 I'll get some uh, of that shuttle. Yeah, I'm at a point where I'm just like, you know what? Postcard with, with some money in it. Yeah, like, just get like a gift card. Man. Yeah. That's like, the thing to do now. Because, okay, so I, I've always had this theory, and I've been wanting to make a video about this, and I haven't. But basically, I'm like, why do we give gifts? Yeah. Like, like oh, if I'm for Christmas, I mean, and, and birthdays and stuff like that, where, where you kind of feel like you have to give a gift, I'm like, if I'm go somewhere and i see something and i'm like hey you know what equis would really like this yeah then i'll pick it up and buy it for equis yeah. and be like okay there you go yeah, happy whatever uh <laughs> you know j just just for the hell of it but on christmas where, where you're like oh man i gotta go find a gift for this person yeah that sucks uh, and there <laughs> i always say there used to be a point you know, years ago, when going to a store and buying something was very difficult, especially when you lived in a place like Puerto Rico where you had to go into town uh, just to, to buy anything. Uh, then getting a gift was really cool, you know, because that was like 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 the one time of the year where you could or a couple of times of the year where you could actually get like new socks and new underwear. Uh, yeah. Without having to go through all the trouble of going out to the to, to town to, to get it. But I'm like, with Amazon now, like, really, like, what could I possibly get, like, you, that you couldn't just get yourself and, and have it, like, in two days? Like, yeah. You know, so, so I don't know. I feel like gift giving now, especially being a minimalist, it, it becomes more of an issue. Because as a minimalist, I, I don't like people giving me things. Like, yeah, I appreciate it, obviously. Uh, but... But it's like I I have too many things already. I have to get rid of things. <laughs> like whenever I get a new thing, I feel like I need to get rid of some other thing. Um, and you know, there's a very good chance that what somebody gives me it, it might not necessarily be something that I want to keep around. But then you you have that awkward feeling of man, I I just got this as a gift, but I don't really want it. <laughs> so it's like, do you re-gift it? But then when somebody finds out, they get pissed. Or even even if you throw it away or get rid of it, you know people people get pissed because you gave away their gift. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I just like I could just imagine like back in the day, like you would just gift like somebody like a dozen eggs, <laughs> like here probably, <laughs> right? And that would have been great. Yeah, because yeah. like you're giving somebody food or like here's yeah. a chicken. This one is a, a this lays good eggs or whatever. Yeah, we should start doing that. Like like you know what? Here, happy birthday! Like here's a piece of steak. Like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so now I'm at a point where you know it's so easy for people to to buy whatever, and there's so many options. I'm like, just give people money. <laughs> yeah, like if you're gonna give them something, just give them money. Let them pick whatever they want. Like, you, you, because I don't know, it, it's kind of weird for 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 me to try and pretend that I know what you want. You know, yeah. again, if you find something and you're like, oh man, this person would totally love this. You know, even if it's not their birthday or Christmas or whatever, just buy it for them and give it to them, whatever. But yeah, uh, when, when you're feeling forced to do it, it's like, no. Um, so, so yeah, my, my personal opinion is just give them money or a gift card to a store like Amazon. Yeah. Don't, don't give... <laughs> gift cards to a restaurant like i guess if you know that somebody yeah. goes to a specific restaurant a lot then yeah sure but like like when somebody just gives you a starbucks card or whatever yeah like if uh, you know if, if you know a teacher you can give them a starbucks <laughs> they, they like that 
But but yeah, like like if you know that somebody goes to to a specific place a yeah. lot, yeah. But you know, you, you get a Starbucks card and you never go to Starbucks. It's like okay, what am I gonna do with this? Um, and, and my personal <laughs> uh, my personal dilemma, I always wear black shirts, black pants, black everything. Yeah. People always give me shirts with colors, like like they keep gifting me all these white shirts or colorful shirts and i'm like you're not giving this for me yeah. <laughs> you're giving me this for you like you want to see me wearing this but this is not what i wear like what what made you think from the fact that i always wear the exact same shirt the exact same pants black black what made you think that i wanted this i don't know this blue polo <laughs> yeah yeah Yeah, it's like it's, it's like the whole thing of like I hate actively looking for something a gift like like my nephews I know what they want like so I'm oh like, yeah those are like easy. oh you know they want a Nintendo Switch game uh, my little nephew likes Paw Patrol so I just get him a Paw Patrol or something so like I know like if I just say like like you said like if if I were to find like my, even my brother I know what he would like. But I'd rather just give him the cash so he can buy whatever he wants, you know. I'm at he that point, too, with, 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 with my nephew and my niece on my brother's side. Because, you know, I love them. But they, they get everything they need already. That's, you know? yeah, so, that's true. So it's like, like what what could I possibly give them? My nephew, yeah, he, he's he's now, he, he used to not be into video games. So, so it was more difficult for me. Now he's more into video games. Although he's a Fortnite player, so that's embarrassing. But... Um, You know, I, I figure that whatever new FIFA game is out, he'll he'll be happy with that or whatever. My niece is still an issue because <laughs> I'm like, what what could I possibly get her? Like, she, you know, I don't know anything about little girls. So, <laughs> so here, take 40 bucks, go away. You know, <laughs> whatever. Dang, 40 bucks, man. <laughs> that's a lot. Of, I'll give them five bucks. That's that's the most they get. But uh, but but yeah, it, it's it, it's weird. With my other nephews, you know, they're all into video games, so that's easy for me. Uh, if they weren't, then it would also be like money, because I'm like, no, I'm not gonna, like, I don't know, I don't know what you're into anymore. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just give you money. You can go get it. And, you know, whatever. So this is like, like I kind of use it as like a a bonding um, way. So for example, when I'm gonna give my nephew a gift, I take him to the store. And I'm like, okay, you pick the game. Yeah, that you works. Know? Too. And, and it, it kind of like you can kind of talk about it. And <laughs> like I remember last year when I took him to Best Buy to pick up a game. You know, this guy came up like, "Hello, my name is." Uh, I think it's probably the same guy. He's like, <laughs> "I'm the video game expert." Like, do you have any questions? And I, my little nephew, he he talks. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so they just had a whole conversation of uh because I think he picked up uh Mario and Rad Reddit or okay. whatever. They had like at least like a 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute conversation on, on the on the game and what the story and they, they were like having a blast having to talk about that. I'm like, oh, go ahead, talk. <laughs> when when Equis refers to it being the same guy, it's the story about uh one day I'm by the camera by the camera equipment and th this young guy comes up to me like he had to be a teenager you know he looked like you know like uh they came from the simpsons yeah they came from the simpsons <laughs> the you know with the, with the yeah the crusty burger guy the you know he's got the pimples on the face and whatever <laughs> and he's like he's like hello i am dan the camera man do you have any questions <laughs> and in my head i start laughing because i'm like dude you're barely dan the camera kid you know <laughs> but yeah. anyway uh no that that is a good idea to just take them and pick a game you know because that way if it's on sale then you get you know to keep some money too <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> but Yeah, gift giving. It, it's a pain. Maybe maybe you should take your niece to the store so you guys can have like a bonding experience. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you maybe you learn that she's into video games and they're like, oh, Tomb Raider. You like Tomb Raider? Okay, you can play. <laughs> yeah, right. How old is your niece? Like nine? <laughs> Something like that. I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, so so gift giving. It, it, it's a pain. Um, So yeah, give money or, or oh, what about uh, how how do you feel about? Because something that my sister and I have started doing is uh, will, uh, it, you know, th there's a lot of family members and, and you kind of wish that you could just buy them all something, but yeah, it yeah, gets it's expensive. Too, yeah, too much. So 
what 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 we started doing is uh, for for the, for Christmas we tend to do a dinner. You know, we go all out with with with, with uh, some kind of dinner, and you know, we invite my my brother and his in laws and my brother in law and his family and uh, to us that's like giving them all a gift because mm-hmm. you're giving them food basically. Yeah. Um, so I I. I I kind of like that. I kind of prefer that over a gift, actually. <laughs> like, man, if, if your like, sister invited me for some of that arroz con gandule, man, I'll, that's, <laughs> that's the perfect gift right there. That's so good. Yeah, like, like to me, Christmas, you know, I, I always kind of jokingly and kind of not jokingly, uh, I, 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 I tend to, to complain because I'm like, you know, I, I get, I have so many nephews and, and nieces, so so then I'm like, I, I spent a lot of money on these kids. And then being a, a single guy and, and no kids, it's like, okay, you end up with like two gifts at the end of the night. Yeah. So so I'm like, well, you know, as far as as balance, it's like, okay, I spent so much, I got 20 bucks back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but really, it, it, you know, like I said, I, in a way, it sucks, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't mind because it's my nephews and, and I love them. But what I really get out of everything, it's when we have that dinner. Yeah. Because to me, that that's what Christmas is all about. You know, I don't really need the gifts. <laughs> like I said, my my tastes are very expensive, and I get those myself. So so I get my gifts. <laughs> yeah. Um. Usually long before Christmas, but whatever. Uh. But yeah, when when I get to to have a nice dinner with my family, that is what matters the most to me, uh, and I absolutely love it. You know, so so to me that that's Christmas. So, and and I know that, that uh, we, what we do is um, just just for a little bit of fun, we kind of do do that. Uh, get a gift under twenty bucks, and we kind of you know okay, so like Secret Santa type. Yeah, thing like or, it, but we or, do it different. We're never consistent with how we. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out the we're system. Try, we're still trying to figure so, out. So a we way. get a gift that's under twenty bucks, and then we just kind of like bring it to the table, and then we all like do some kind of switching or whatever. Okay. And I, I, what is it called? White white rabbit or something? White elephant or something? white elephant? Yes, yeah. white rabbit. <laughs> so that's, that's something cool that like you can also do in, in a large group. Like yeah. just just focus on getting one thing that's twenty bucks or less, and then. You don't know what you're gonna get, like so. You have to really think about like getting something that could potentially yeah. be good for uh, even better, a female it, it, or a male yeah. or younger or older. Even better if it's like a like a like a ten dollar gift. Yeah, it's just something dumb because uh, I think because it becomes fun, you know. Yeah, exactly. At that point, you don't you really don't care. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of funny. Yeah, because right there, it's not about the, the actual gift. It's just about exactly. that, having the fun. Like somebody getting something that they're like, oh, like. You got stuck with that or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's it's more about the fun right there than the actual. Like, game. I, I remember one one day we went to somebody's house and we were having one of those white elephant type of things. Uh, I ended up with with uh, a brush. Uh, it was just a brush. Uh, it was like a set. I think it was a brush and, and a comb. And apparently, this was one of the better gifts because. <laughs> Uh, we kept as changing it, and it went to to this other lady because uh, she asked for it. Because you you know uh, the way we were doing it, you could ask for. It. I don't know if this is how it always works, yeah. but you could ask for somebody's gift. You wanted yeah, it. You take it, but then it became my turn. So then I took it back. So then she took it back, and then I took it back, <laughs> and then we ran out of time, and I ended up with it. But I was like, well, you know, I don't use a a brush on my hair so i'm like here take it because i really don't want it <laughs> but it was it was just a lot of fun yeah it's about uh, the experience exactly the- so so i'm like you know instead of doing gifts yeah kids uh, they, they they they're they're gonna expect the gifts but you know once you're an adult like just do something fun you yeah don't don't or or even just at dinner um now at what age <laughs> Would you say it's a cutoff, and do you just cut them off, or, or, or you know, go little by little? Yeah, I I, I think it's also like I think it's on a if if you know that if a nephew is like let's say they're consistent with what they like, you can kind of keep going like for a long time. But if you just have like one of those picky, 
little nephews, just give them five bucks at five years old or whatever. <laughs> like you can get candy, whatever you want. So I think it all depends on on the on the person. So when they're thirty five, you still keep doing it. Yeah, <laughs> they're consistent. Like like my brother, I still give him. I I, I get him a game. All no, right, but right. yeah, like. Yeah, that's fair. You, 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 you I'm just trying to cut off my nephews. Yeah, yeah you, just feel, you feel it in your gut when it's time. It's over. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, now, as far as gift getting, uh, there are stores that we have to get gifts at. So earlier, uh, X and I we were talking about so some of the stores that are gone uh, and some of the things that maybe they could have done that could have helped them out. Yeah. So we were talking specifically about Toys R Us because I, <laughs> I'm like, you know, normally Toys R Us was the store that I would never ever go into, except for like December 23rd or 24th, when I'm all out of options, and I'm like, you need especially it. with my knees, <laughs> uh, because I'm like, okay, I gotta buy something. Uh, And I have no idea. So so at that point, I'm like, screw it. I'm going to go into a Toys R Us and, and just see what they have. Uh, but obviously, this year, I don't have that. So yeah, I, I guess I'll have to go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, Walmart. I get, like, if it's an in-store place, like, you want to go to an actual brick and mortar, then, yeah, you got to go to a Walmart yeah. or a Target. But, yeah, like, one one thing I was talking about was, like, um, at Target, some of the Targets, um, they have a... Uh, Like a pickup, so uh, pick up uh, parking spot. So when you get to Target, and you know you either on the app you say that you're there or whatever, and they bring it out to your car. You know, so that kind of got me thinking of, you know, like if Toys R Us would have been more proactive against like, because the advantage that Toys R Us had was that they had an actual store that people can go in, and, correct, and all that. And Amazon doesn't have that, so you kind of have to have something to compete with. Amazon because Amazon was just killing stuff right yep. and so one of the things we were thinking about was like what if like Toys R Us had like same day delivery like if you live within you know 40 30 miles or, or something like that they can deliver same day um, whatever you wanted and I think that would have been very helpful for parents because first of all if you're a parent a lot of times you have to take your kids with you to the store yeah And if you take your kids to the store, they're going to want more things. They're going to be, you know, oh, can I get this? Can I get that? It Especially if they're anything like I was <laughs> as a kid. I, I was horrible. Uh, I would make a huge scene <laughs> yeah. uh, at the store. Like, I, 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 you know, I wanted my toy and, and that, that was it. That's all that mattered to me. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I used to make scenes big time. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and that would kind of help parents with like if they don't have to find a babysitter or anything like that, and you just get it shipped to your to your door, you know. And, and if it's the holiday seasons, maybe for like you know a, a small fee or something, or and it wouldn't be like same day. It would, it would probably be like next day delivery, where they can have your things wrapped for you already, and so correct. So you like, don't have to worry about getting paper. You don't have to worry about none of that. And exactly, like I was telling set. you. Uh, uh, Yeah, I, I I used to do this with Amazon. Like I I used to because I, I was always like a late late uh, getter, gift getter. Yeah. <laughs> like I always wait till the last minute. Um, well, you know, like at, at the my job, they usually give us a bonus on December fifteenth, and that would be my gift giving bonus. So you know, I, I didn't had that much time. I wasn't gonna start preparing since Black Friday, like you know most people do. So uh, I, I I would do that with, with Amazon. They they always have the gift uh, wrapping option, and I would just do that, and and it worked out fine for me. But then eventually I was like, you know, it, it's like four to five bucks uh, per item. But when you start doing it for every item, you're like, man, like when you start thinking about it, you're like, man, I spent a lot of money just on yeah. gift giving, like a roll of of. of of rap wouldn't have cost me <laughs> anywhere like what two or three bucks so yeah he could uh, wrap yeah, the whole no, bunch no, of gifts exactly so um so then i started doing my own gift wrapping but uh it is it is a very nice convenience especially if you're pretty bad at gift wrapping <laughs> yeah or you just but, don't have the time or or exactly you, or you're trying to keep that gift a secret right it's that too so so 
I don't know if if Toys R Us ever did the the bring it out to your car type of thing yeah, like like Target that, does, no. but that alone would have been great. Because, that also, yeah, because like like I was telling you earlier, um, I'm the type of person where if I want to buy something on Amazon, like I start with Amazon. Yeah, I check the price. I'm like, okay, I I want to buy this, but if it's like something I know that some place like Best Buy tends to have. Then I would rather buy it on Best Buy, uh, uh, and then go pick it up because Best Buy offers you know in store pickup. Yeah. Uh, and especially I, if you live in the hood, you, you get your package stolen. Yeah, exactly. You just rather to pick it up. So, so then, if if it's available at Best Buy, I'd rather go pick it up over there. I I tried doing the pickup experience once at Walmart, mm -hmm. and it was no fun. <laughs> Now maybe they've got them better, but you know how Best Buy they always have the 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 pickup area right in the front. Yeah. So you just go over there. Uh, you know, there's always somebody there, and they they help you out real quick, and you're in and out, no no problem. I went to a Walmart once, and for the pickup area, I had to go all the way to the back, to the layaway, by, by where the yeah. layaway tends to be, and then I had to find somebody to help me. <laughs> yeah. Because the whole area was empty. And then it took them forever to get my thing. So I'm like, you know what? I would have been able to just walk into the store, look for it, and bought it myself yeah. uh, rather than go through all this. So so then I kind of gave up on Walmart. I think Target, I don't know if I've ever tried Target. But now that you mentioned that they have the bring it to the car option, kind of like McDonald's does, where McDonald's, you, you can order on your app and then go park at a specific spot. And then on the app, you can even tell them, oh, I'm at this spot. Mm -hmm. Um And then they come to you with it. Uh, I might try that because, uh, yeah, that that's even better than having to go into the store to yeah. to, to get it. Uh, especially when I when I'm coming from from usually when I stop at a Best Buy or whatever is usually when I'm coming from work, uh, where I'm already kind of listening to a very interesting podcast, yeah. kind of like the Stuff HD podcast. Yeah, uh, you but get every Tuesday, and Thursday, every Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday is the gaming edition. Uh, <laughs> Oh, GSP edition. It's not just gaming, um, but but you know sometimes I'm listening to a podcast or listening to a book and, and I, yeah I don't I don't really want to stop so I don't mind just parking there and waiting for them to bring it to me yeah, yeah. Um, so so that that would be a good option so I'm gonna have to get into that because honestly I would rather chop at Amazon as little as possible but then a lot of times these other companies they they don't make it easy. You all know my story with Best Buy, but <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like uh, for example, watching a video that some WalMarts what they're starting to do is they're trying to do like a, almost like the Amazon locker, where they have a locker in the front of the store. So okay. when you just go in there and you open the locker and you just get out, right? And you for, know, for for those who might not be familiar with the locker, uh, basically what Amazon does is at a lot at a lot of gas stations or. Um, a lot different of places. businesses yeah different businesses they will set up a, a locker system outside or inside because i i used to go to one that was inside a mall um and basically those are available the ones outside they're available 24 7 where you go you scan a barcode or enter a code on a sc screen and then have a, a locker door opens and it contains your package So it's a really nice way to to get your your Amazon packages uh, because first you know it, it's safe you know people are not gonna go in there and steal it uh, second uh, it, it's it's kind of nice almost because if you decide that you know after I bought it after you bought it and you you decided you know what I don't really want it just leave it there after three days they'll send it back you know? yeah. So, and I've even, I don't know if they, if you can always do this, but I have been able to do returns by just putting it in there uh, rather than having to go find a, a UPS box or whatever. So, yeah, that makes sense. That, they give you like a little code to open up. Yeah. The, yeah. Exactly. Just put it in there. So it, 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 it comes in very handy. So more stores doing this would definitely be nice. Yeah. Like even if Best Buy started doing it. Yeah, that would be that, nice. That, that like would be cool. put it in the, in the front of the yeah, Best Buy so you don't have to front. go inside. That way you can leave it there 24-7 also. So that yeah. way you're not in a rush to get to Best Buy to go pick up your stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, 
because that has happened to me before. I'll, I'll order something that I got to go to Milwaukee. Then in Milwaukee, I'm like, damn, I really want this tonight. But but then I, uh, I'm still in Milwaukee. So then I'm like, shit, I got to go so that I can make it to Best Buy so that I can pick it up. And, so. and look at all this gold we're giving companies. So yeah, they can this do, is man. gold, guys. Like, man, like We should be advisors. Uh, we should be charging for this. <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know how much it would cost them, but definitely uh, this is the type of stuff that Amazon does that other companies should be doing rather than complain about how many customers are going to Amazon. Look, I have no love for Amazon. I know that they are a huge company, and I would rather they weren't. Um, but But they're doing a lot of stuff that helps me out yeah so you guys don't want them you know I, I, as a customer i want convenience you know you're paying for this stuff you want convenience so you know if, if you don't want all the customers going to amazon then provide them with something better yeah uh so what you were saying earlier about toys r us doing deliveries that would be amazing now i can totally understand how that would probably be more expensive but I don't know. Like you're recharging more for your products at, at Toys I mean, R Us. Like exactly. Like like pizza places can offer delivery. Okay. Like <laughs> I'm sure Toys R Us could and, figure and, it and out. And I'm sure that Toys R Us won't have as many deliveries to do as a pizza place. Like a pizza place will do hundreds of deliveries every day. I doubt that Toys R Us will be doing hundreds. They could probably do like fifty a day or something like that. E even if there's a small charge, you know, you charge a little extra for the delivery, but it make it same day. You know, just like Amazon does. You know, Amazon, if they offer same day delivery, you're gonna be paying like an extra five bucks for that. But it's okay <laughs> because then more people will actually buy from your place. Because the one thing is that Toys R Us, Best Buy, Walmart, Target. What they have an advantage of is that they have an actual brick and mortar place where people can walk in if they want, you know. So, but if you offer that extra service, like like we're talking about, how there are some things that you can't get on the Amazon locker. Like if you buy like a, a mattress or something, yeah. they can't fit that in the locker. You yeah, would have to it's deliver it to your house, and sometimes you don't want that because if it's a big package, it's an easy target for somebody to just take, you know, from your porch or whatever. Yeah. So, Damn so porch pirates. Yeah. So like. Best Buy has the advantage that you can do pick up in the store, you know. But if Best Buy did deliver, you know, that's something totally different. But we're we're also talking about um I remember we're talking about um oh what was he talking about? Oh about um Amazon having like a UPS store kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where you can yes, Amazon get, or any store. Well, Amazon in this case, yeah, because so you can have, have an actual place where you can go uh, like big packages and even if it's a, a small like prime membership extra charge or whatever all right you know you would have a place to like because if you live in an apartment you don't really have like a, a port yeah, he, or here, something like that like l let me explain this to you guys where where i currently live it's a it's a small apartment so there's not even an office like other apartment buildings that i have lived at they have an office that will take your packages and that's cool over here it's just it's just some apartments i think there's like eight per building and and there, there is a little room in the in the front where where the mail person can drop packages, and they'll leave them there sometimes. But but it's just there; like anybody can come and take it. So it's not very safe. Um, so I I hate having packages delivered here because I feel like they're they're the mail person is either gonna be like, oh, this is not safe; I'm not gonna leave it here, or they'll leave it there and they'll get stolen or whatever. So and I'm sure nice people live around here, but still, yeah, no, yeah, they they do. But and I have had packages delivered here, and they they've been just there. Actually, I had a, a package delivered once where I didn't even know that I was getting a package, and I'm walking out and I see this package, and I'm like, oh, somebody got a package, and I take a look at the at the thing just to kind of see what what apartment is for, and I'm like, oh, that's for me. Okay, <laughs> I I didn't know so. I don't, for all I know, that thing was there for days. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, um, having having an actual uh, building where you could go uh, and get larger packages and you and just have it there, preferably twenty four seven. Uh, but if not twenty four seven, at least open late. Like yeah, because <laughs> one one of the things I, I've thought of getting a PO box, and but then I'm like, okay, they close at five. <laughs> 
I get off work at four. I don't get here till like five forty five. Like it's it's not it's not gonna work for me except for Saturdays and Sundays. But even then they close early too. So I'm like Well there's hey, there's that, some PO useless. boxes that are, are like they're kinda like a little bit um uh, on the on the side of the post office where you can oh, no, go the, in the actual PO box is, oh, okay. is, is open, but those things are tiny. I mean oh, for, yeah, for yeah, any yeah, packages yeah, that I got. Yeah, go. that's, yeah. that's true, that's true. So so yeah, I was like, okay, that's not gonna work for me. I thought of the UPS store, but again, uh, I I haven't looked too much into it. Yeah. So so yeah, and, and, and Porsche pirates are, are a real issue because my sister just had uh, a package stolen from from the front of their house. Uh, what this person probably doesn't know is that they do have cameras outside, so they definitely caught the person on camera. And the package, you know, my sister does a lot of nail stuff, so it was just like nail color. You know, <laughs> it wasn't anything fun, basically. Yeah. What I told my my brother in law he should do is like. Take a Amazon box, put a brick in it or something heavy, not too heavy, you know, somewhat yeah, heavy. So they can still take it. Yeah. Uh, and then put a note saying like, hey, dumbass, like we just got you on camera so that you could steal this. <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah. You know, because that, that's a real thing. So it's like, just, you know, just having a little extra choice of where you want things, because sometimes they just leave things like right outside. It's, you know, even though there's like a door, you can kind of put the package behind. They just leave it outside for everybody to see. So it's kind of, you know, just add a little bit more, more convenience. And I was thinking one last thing for like uh, for the Toys R Us thing. I was just thinking, what if for like a, a special charge, you know, obviously you would have to pay a little extra. Um, you make you, it sound illegal, like for a special charge. No, I'm just saying, like, um, for example, especially during like um, the the Christmas week, you can have your wait till your package to be delivered that week, like on the 24th or 25th, and you just hire a bunch of fat guys to dress as Santa Claus, and they can go deliver the packages to your house dressed as Santa. You know, it'll be like uh, it'll be like fifty bucks, right, or some some charge like that. So you can have like, oh look, Santa's delivering your your packages from Best uh, Best Buy from Toys R Us, and yeah, you, you get you you give some guy some fat guy some jobs, man. We we need jobs too. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm just thinking like, yeah, that probably wouldn't work, just because yeah, a lot of people would probably get the wrong stuff. And once the kid gets the wrong stuff, <laughs> they'll be all excited. Oh my god, you got me a Nintendo Switch! And the parents are like, "Oh no, no, we didn't. <laughs> we gotta return that shit." Uh, it, it would be cool though if if it actually worked out. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we are uh, Did we almost hit out of time. Um, did we leave uh, anything? No, I think we... No, I think we talked everything we wanted to talk. I did want to ask, do you ever find yourself going like, you know what? I hope you run, <laughs> you go out of business. And like, I hope Amazon gets you out of business to any store. Um, No, because I, I actually, like all the stores I go to, I, I kind of like, those are like Best Buy. Like, I don't want Best Buy to go out of business. Uh, as much as uh, some I want people, a specific Nick. person at yeah. Best Buy to go out of business. I yeah. like I like having Best Buy. Yeah, around. f you, Nick. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like I, I like Target. I like Target. You know, I prefer Target over. No, uh, yeah, I, I definitely ha like having the the, Although, the brick and mortar uh, options available. Um, but but like we're saying, the, those stores, they they you know, a, a lot of times. They they complain about about places like Amazon taking all this, uh, taking their 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 jobs no, T taking their customers, but then they they don't want to change. They don't want to do anything different. So like of course Amazon is gonna take you out of business. Uh, you know even Jeff Bezos is saying like he doesn't think that Amazon is gonna be uh, around that much longer. Like. He he knows very well that some at some point Amazon will become irrelevant. And when yeah. you when you think about some of the stores that are irrelevant now, like look at Sears. Sears used to be <laughs> a superpower. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. the the lack of uh, yeah. adapting to yeah. the marketplace. Like so, you know. so if if Amazon themselves don't adapt to 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 what's new out there, then they will become irrelevant faster. So. 
that that's just the way business is like you you have to uh try, at least try <laughs> yeah you know so, so and like we just gave a bunch of good advice to like best buy and like it's up to them to figure out like w- walmart can do these things too okay like, yeah, like I- i'll go to walmart if, if they offer some some lockers and and offer same day delivery and stuff like that i'll go to them yeah like if best buy would just do the the locker system outside the store like like it, 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 i think it would increase a lot of their like the convenience like you can just go there at 10 p.m and pick up your whatever package or whatever or, or before work you know yeah because i can't imagine uh this locker system costing them yeah. that much like i mean i'm sure it's not cheap okay but but i'm sure you could you could like uh make it work <laughs> so yeah and obviously we don't know like if there's any, like, like, like city permits and stuff like that no nah, yeah uh, we don't know about that but again they, they can make it work yeah. uh, if amazon can make it work they should be able to make it work um now, of course, Amazon has a ton of money, but so do they. I heard a rumor that that Circuit City might be coming back. I don't know. But if like you, online, I heard it was like it online, online only. only. Yeah, that sucks. But like, however, like I, I I do remember like being sad when Borders went out of business. It was like a bookstore. Not, yeah, not, not the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the border. That's a, that one's still in business, as yeah. far as I know. So I was quite sad because I used to. I remember, like, I used to like going there, like, and I would buy. I would actually buy books, and like people would just go there for the for the the coffee and work on their computers. Yeah, but like, um, I really like it because you know you had the the borders card, the reward, and you would get discounts on coffee and. You know, so when they went out of business, I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna go to, I'm, I'm gonna have to start going to Barnes and Nobles, you know. But now Barnes and Nobles is like on the, like on the, on the brink, on the brink, and I'm like, man, like what could they do? Because Amazon really killed the the bookstore industry like big time. Yeah, and uh, I don't know that. Like I I heard a rumor that Amazon wanted to buy Barnes and Nobles. Yeah, I'm sure they did at some point. Well, it, like, like when that happened, I was kind of, I was like, oh man, they should have adapted. All right, so so this is going to lead into our next podcast that we'll talk about next week. Tax cuts, uh, which is gonna be <laughs> tax cuts, and no, uh, it's gonna be uh, stores that 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 we miss, stores that we wish were still around, and, and pour yeah. some liquor, pour KB toys. <laughs> KB <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a a list of our ten uh, stores that that we wish were still around, and and maybe we'll even talk about some of the ones that that we would like to try and help now, like Barnes and Nobles. Anyway, this has been it for this episode of the Stuff HD podcast. Again, this is Javier, aka Stuff. This L dot X. L dot X on Twitter. On the Twitters, L underscore Equis on the Instagrams. Uh, no, it's the opposite. The, the opposite way. Uh, and me, uh, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Real Stuff HD. You can also go to StuffHD.com for more information on everything related to Stuff HD. There are links to the YouTube page, links to the podcast page, links to the JT Wear store, and links to uh, my photography site that is useless right now. Uh, all right models wanted models wanted so if All you right. would like to model send some pics and then we can you, uh, you live can, in milwaukee you can, you can in, send those to stuff in, in the wisconsin area or yeah. chicago even chicago, you, you chicago. If, you you're willing, if you're willing to travel <laughs> yeah but uh, we can travel to chicago you know um yeah you can send those to stuff at stuffhd.com all right this is it hope you all take care hope you'll have a great day and we're out this is our best podcast ever Sure.